Let's face it, the fashion industry is feminine. Most of the top influencers on sites just like YouTube like to dress in a feminine manner. And most of the top models are obscenely skinny and wearing clothes more obsessed with pushing cutting edge trends than appearing masculine. And there's nothing wrong with that. This video is not meant to attack the fashion industry or anyone that wants to dress any type of way that there is. This video is just saying that, hey, there is a lack of resources for men who want to look masculine, but they also want to look fashionable. That's where I can come in to help you out. In this video, I'm going to be going over every single essential that you need to dress in a masculine fashion. Links will be in the description. Enjoy. First up, canvas sneakers, especially black canvas sneakers are an excellent wardrobe essential. These are great because they can go with everything from sweatpants to jeans and really just any type of formality apart from super formal outfits. And the black ones especially can get dirt on them, rocks on them, kicks, scratch, whatever, and it barely shows. These shoes almost look brand new, but I've had them for more than two years. Second up, you've got your all whites. And I know you guys are thinking, where are my all whites? Mine are more like all tans at the moment, so they're not gonna be in the video. But all whites, especially all white forces, are a classic sneaker that can go great with anything because white's such a versatile, neutral color. Next up, you've got your jeans, utility pants, and cargos, which I would actually put in the same category of what they can do for your style. A little controversial there. And these are great for spicing up a piece in terms of texture and formality, right? On one side of things, hoodies are great, sweatpants are great, sneakers are great, but that outfit and really leaning too heavy into cozy wear all the time can make your fits bland and predictable. So you take that outfit and you switch out the sweatpants for some utility pants and boom, now you've got a fashion statement, right? That is exactly what these type of pants can do for you. I would highly suggest Madewell. They make some of the best stuff, link in the description, and if you can't afford Madewell, Uniqlo and Levi's have some great denim and utility pant options. That being said, we can't forget about sweatpants altogether because what is more masculine than functionality? Any type of sweatpants from any type of brand basically end up looking the same, right? People will spend all this money on higher end stuff just for it to be indistinguishable from Gap. So just get something from Gap. They have sales all the time. You can get incredible sweatpants for like $20, right? Sweatpants do for guys what black tights do for girls in the sense that they can be a part of a lot of outfits and it's cool and it's chill, but if they're the staple in every single one of your outfits, it's gonna get repetitive. But still a great essential, arguably the most comfortable piece of clothing ever made. You have to have sweatpants. Wrapping up legs, we've got basic shorts. Nothing to say here, they're basic, they're normal but they're infinitely better than wearing basketball shorts. And once again, even more so than sweatpants, they all look the same, which is great. So no one can tell I'm wearing shorts from Amazon Essentials. Moving up, we've got t-shirts, arguably the most essential clothing. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, I know you've got t-shirts. And there's generally two types of t-shirts that you should get if you want to dress in a masculine way. One of them is a more form-fitting shirt that's tighter on your arms, tighter on your waist, gives you that V-taper look. And the other one is a more oversized shirt, like a Uniqlo Airism oversized tee like this one that goes down lower on your arms to really accentuate different features like your shoulders. And both of these shirts have their pros and cons, and I would suggest trying out both of them and using both of them to provide some variety in your outfits because you never want all your outfits to look the same. You want them to look similar, have a similar aesthetic, but you never want to be the guy that gets asked, weren't you wearing that yesterday? Weren't you wearing that fit yesterday? You don't want that. So yeah, Uniqlo Air is an oversized tee, and when it comes to a form-fitting tee, it really is too personalized for me to give one recommendation. Next up, we got hoodies. Timeless silhouette, classic colors, infinite graphics, everyone's favorite thing to wear. Everyone loves hoodies. You've got everything from basic hoodies to crazy ones like Hoonie is cooking up. Really a big variety of hoodies here. When it comes to simplistic hoodies like this one, I would highly suggest buying from Uniqlo or Hollister. Side note, 
crew necks, slightly fancier, a little more rugged. I think better than hoodies because I think the silhouette works better with more stuff. Carhartt and Gap ones are great. I think that Gap gets labeled a kid's brand because of Gap Kids. A lot of our parents might have bought us some Gap stuff, but they have 100% con stuff, heavyweight con stuff that's good, form fitting, relatively good for people with wider shoulders, and it's good and they have sales, so check it out. And now for the final essential to build a masculine wardrobe, baseball cap. You know, it can do a lot for your facial aesthetic, which I can probably make a whole other video about, especially if you don't wear glasses, because uh, sometimes I wear contacts. And when I do, I think having something like a baseball cap or more stubble can help make my face look less bland. But once again, that's probably like a whole other video. And ultimately, baseball caps are great. They're especially great if for whatever reason you haven't done your hair and you just need to go out. It totally works. And my last note, final thing, don't wear a beanie. <laughs> cue the car heart beanie meme, cue all that stuff. Even if it's in the winter, you know, underrated combo, baseball cap and hoodie. It's really not that ridiculous. Uh, it's less ridiculous at least than what you would think. Also, please leave a like, subscribe to the video. I'm wearing a hoodie and a hat when it's hot, it's summertime. So I think that that earns something. And thank you very much. See you next time on Refined Improvement. Peace.